All right, I've got Eclipse open right now, and we're going to uh, do some practice with data declarations. So I've got to get myself a class that I can work with. If you've already got a package that you want to work with, go ahead, otherwise create a new one. I'm going to use this initial concepts that I've used before, and when initial concepts is highlighted, I'll do file new class, call my class variable practice, and take all the defaults finish that up, I get a class called variable practice that has a public static void main in it. I can put my code in right here. So I'm going to create one variable of each of the types we talked about. I'll have int i, and let's say that equals minus 25. Then I'll have double uh, d equals 42.7, um, boolean b equals false and string s equals I am a string. Okay, the scope of these variables, all of them are declared in between this brace and this brace, so I can use them anytime after they're declared as long as I'm still within that brace. So I'm going to put in a system.out.println with i in it. I should be able to print that out. Let's do some cutting and pasting here. Give myself four of those. I'll put in i and d and b and s. Now when I save this and run it, what do I get? Negative 25, 42.7, false, and i am a string, just like I expected. I could put in other values here. Let's make my boolean true, my string, I am a longer string. And let's make our double equal to negative 25 also. Notice I made it look like an int here, but I'm storing it in a double. Let's see what Java will do when I give it that situation. I'll save this, run it again. I get negative 25 for i, Negative 25.0, it gets stored in floating point form. True, and I am a longer string. Now, what happens if I try and use the variable but not within its scope? So before i is declared, if I do system.out.println i, notice that I get this little red x over here. What's happening? I'll hover over it i cannot be resolved to a variable. It, i is the scope of i starts here with the declaration. So I can't put this right here. Let me delete it so that I've got a valid program again. Now let's create, uh, say, a new set of braces. And in here I'm going to have int j equals um, 35,000 and system.out.println. Let's print i and let's print j. Now, why can I do both of them? Because the scope of i is from i declaration to the end of its enclosing parentheses, all of this area that I've highlighted. That includes these set of braces. J's scope only goes through here. But I should be able to look at both I and J at this point. So let's save it, run it. What do I get? Minus 25, minus 25.0, true, and I am a longer string. That's coming from these four print statements. Then I get minus 25 again. I still has the same value it did before and 35,000, which is J. Now, if I try and do something here, system.out.println J, notice I get that error message again. J cannot be resolved to a variable. Why? The scope of J only goes to its enclosing brace. So I can't put J there. Now, here I've got 
all of these variables declared and initialized at the same time. Let me do another one. Uh, let's give myself a double, double, not initialized. It's a nice name, isn't it? I'll just put the semicolon. Now, can I print out not initialized? Double, not initialized. Excuse me, that's not what I wanted at all. I want to say system.out.println not initialized. And what's going to happen here? I get this little x that says the local variable not initialized may not have been initialized. So it's saying this is within the scope, but I don't have anything to use as a value for it. So I need to give it a value sometime before then. I could say not initialized equals, oh, I could type in any number I wanted, but let's just give it whatever the value is that was in D. So what value should it have? What do you think is going to get printed out? Let's run this and see if your thought is correct. Negative 25, negative 25.0, true, I am a longer string. That's these four print statements right here. Now I put something into not initialized and print that. That gives me negative 25.0 again. Is that what you were thinking would be printed? And then I've got I and J printed out down here, minus 25 and 35,000. Go ahead and play around in Eclipse with declaring variables, seeing what sort of error messages Eclipse gives you. I guarantee you'll see them frequently, and you just need to know how to fix them. And when you're done with that, go ahead and move on to the 2C videos.